I need to set up this part model to show you how to use datum targets and I thought you might be interested in seeing how I do that. Here I have the part model. It's offset from my default coordinate system because it uses a bunch of copy geometry features for defining the geometry. So let me show you how I'm going to take care of that. Let's turn off that coordinate system visibility. Let's go back over here to the model. One thing I know is that when I go to make drawing views my front view is screwed up because of the orientation of the geometry relative to the default coordinate system let's create a new saved view to start off with i'll go to my saved orientations and then reorient and i'll choose to face the top the front of the screen this surface and to face the top of the screen this surface over here so this is good for a front view for the drawings and i'll call it drw underscore front and so now I've got, if I expand the saved orientations, there you see that view that I can use in the drawings later on. Similarly, if I go to my annotate tab and take a look at the annotation planes, I'm going to see that. I need to zoom out. If I take a look at these, they are all in the wrong position. So let's set up some new annotation planes. I'll go to the annotation planes overflow and then go to the annotation plane manager. And I'm going to set up one for the A datums, and I want to use this surface as a reference. Let's go to the new button, and I'll choose A underscore datums. That's what I'll name it. And let's choose as the reference plane this surface over here. Let me see my viewing direction is good, and my text direction is good over here. Let's click the OK button for that one. And since I can't use any of these other ones over here, let's turn off their gallery display because I don't even want to grab them off of the ribbon up here. Let's create a, another one while we're at it. Let's see, I want one where we're looking at this surface over here, and I think that's going to be for my B datum. Let's click on the new button, and I'll call it B datums. And for my reference plane, I will pick this surface over here. And it, again, it's giving me a good viewing direction and a good text rotation angle. So I will click OK out of there. I slightly named them differently. Let's just do this for consistency. Let's go to edit and change that dash to an underscore. There we go. All right, so now I have those set up. I think that is good to start off with. Let's start now by creating our A datum. I'm going to use this front surface over here. So let me activate that. And let's click on geometric tolerance. And I'm going to pick the surface here and then middle mouse click. Right now it is giving me a position geometric tolerance. Let's change that to flatness. I'll leave the default value in there. Uh, that's good for the qualifying characteristic. Now let's use the datum feature symbol. And I'll select the geometric tolerance as the reference and then middle mouse button. And there we have our A datum. That is good. Let's see for the B datum. I want to use this surface over here. And so then let me use this over here. Go to my B datums orientation. Let's now create a perpendicularity geometric tolerance. And again, I will pick the surface. Make sure the surface highlights. And then drag out over here, middle mouse click. Let's change the characteristic from flatness to perpendicularity. And you can see that we have a red bar because I haven't selected the necessary reference for that. Let's use this icon on the ribbon to select the A datum and then click the OK button. So that's good for that. And now let's create our datum feature symbol. Select the geometric tolerance, drag this down over here, and middle mouse click. That's good for the B datum. And let's see, I can use the same orientation for creating my C datum. Again, let's use geometric tolerance and let the surface highlight. There we go. And locate about over here. 
and perpendicular with respect to A. Let's use this, choose B as well. And now left click on the background of the screen. Let's create our datum feature symbol over here. Drop it down about over there. And so there I have my C datum. So now I've got, uh, really it's the A and the B datums are what I needed to prepare for the datum targets video that I'm going to create. The next thing I'm gonna do in here is create some different points for where I want the datum targets to be. So let's go to the model tab and I will click on the sketch tool and I'll pick this surface over here. And I just want to make sure that I'm getting this datum plane as a sketch reference. So rather than using Creo Parametrics suggestion for the orientation reference plane, I'll choose that datum plane called mid. Let's have it face the right side of the screen and hit the sketch button so that I got it in there. Let's add in this surface as a sketch reference. Let's close out of here. And so I want to use three points on here for my reference. So let's click on the point command from the datums group. I'm going to drop one right about over here. That's good. And let's see this dimension right here. Eh, let's change it to 60. Nice number there. Let's create a, another point about over here for where I want one of the other datum targets to be. And another one over here. And it's snapping to be in line with each other. Let me throw in a vertical center line. So then I can get a symmetry constraint. Later I'm going to create a dimension relative to the C datum for these. But let's just do symmetric point, point, center line. That is good. Let's create a dimension from one point to the other point. Middle mouse button. Oops, didn't get it. Let's try that again. Let's see, let's dimension from the point here to the point over there. Middle mouse click, there we go. Uh, let's use a value of 1500. You can see this, this is kind of a big model here and it's one of the reasons why you would want to use datum targets if you have a, a really big model. Let's see, let's change this to a value of 10. So those are good for the points on this surface for my datum targets. Let me hit the check mark over here. Let's rename the sketch and I'll call this my A datum target sketch. And so I will need two targets for my B datum. So let's choose to sketch on this surface. And I'm not sure what surface highlighting there. Let me make sure that that surface is going to face the top of the screen. Let's hit the sketch button. And once again, it's giving me a nice sketch reference of that mid. Let's create a point over, I don't know what it's snapping into, over there. And another point over here. Let me throw in a vertical center line. So I can use my symmetry constraint. This time I'll pick the center line first and then one point and the other point. And let's see, let's put in a dimension from the point over here to the point over there and then middle mouse click. And let's use a value of 1250. All right, that is good for those set of points. Let's hit the check mark. Once again, I'm going to rename this. Let's call this my B datum target sketch. All right, so that is good for the different points. Now I'm actually going to uh, dimension some of these. I'm going to put in my basic dimensions for those different points. Let's go to the annotate tab and let me do the A datums first. And so for the A datums, I want to use this annotation plane. And now we can go to the dimension button. And I'm going to dimension from, let me pick that edge. 
Hold down the control key, pick the point over here. Now let's drag it out to the left and then middle mouse click. And now, just want to make sure it's vertical. That's good. Uh, let's now dimension from the point to the other point. Where are you? Oh, next point is actually going to be this one. And let's middle mouse click. And so let's see. Then for the next dimension, come on, point. Point, point, and then middle mouse click. So that's good for that. Uh, let's see for these different dimensions. They should be basic dimensions. So I can click on it and then go to tolerance and choose basic. Same for over here. I might have screwed up that dimension. Maybe I need to dimension it from this datum over here. Uh, but I can change that later on. So there I've got my basic dimensions here. And then similarly, I would create the dimensions to the B reference. So let's do a dimension from this point. And I'll make sure I get that edge over there. Let's see. Let's go to tolerance, make it a basic dimension. And that is good. Let's also create a dimension from this point. And I will select the edge. Just look located over there for now. And then tolerance basic. So there you get the idea. I'm just setting up the basic dimensions for where the datum targets are going to go later on. And I'm not going to do that for these other two dimensions uh, because it's just the same process as I've done here. But now I should be good to go in order to create some datum targets. I've got my datum feature symbols in here that are going to reference them. I have some datum points that I can use for locating them. And I've got some basic dimensions. Uh, while I'm at it, let's start off the drawing so I don't have to do that later on. Let's create a new drawing. And I'll call it the same name as the part, 8130208. I'm not going to fill in the common name. I'm not going to use a template. I'm just going to use my standard drawing format. Let's click the OK button. And I'll use Sheet 1. Let's now right click and put in a general view. I'm not going to use combined state. Select over here. And this is the reason why I created that drawing view name over there. That is good. Let's see, it's kind of small for this sheet over here. Let's take a look at the scale. Right now it's using an oddball scale. That's like, what number is that? I don't know, it's like 130th or something? Who knows? Uh, so let's change this to see what 0.125 looks like. Hit the apply button. Yeah, it's a nicer looking scale in there. Uh, I really ought to change the sheet scale. But let's click the OK button over here. And it's already showing one of my datums in there. There we go. Because of a config.pro option I believe that I have on, uh, or that's on by default. It's like allow 3D dimensions or something like that. Uh, let's create a projection view over to the top. Actually, I think I might need one to the bottom instead because of where the B datum is. Yeah, that's good. Let me see. Let's get rid of this. I don't think I'm going to need that for my datum targets in the video. Let's unlock the view movement so I can move this back over here so it's a little more on the sheet. And right now, I don't want my datum points displayed. If I take a look at my layers, see if I don't, I don't have a layer for the points, but later on, just create a layer for them and hide those on there. So now I am pretty much set up for doing the drawing. Now I noticed that these dimensions don't have the box around them because I'm guessing that I might have tall display not turned on in the drawing. So let's go to File, Prepare, Drawing Properties, then click the Change Hyperlink. And let me see, I'm pretty sure it's like in the fifth group of options. Just collapsing them in here, these control dimensions. Let's see if 
or do they move it to their own separate group? There's like a group for these options control tolerances or something. There it is. There's tall display. These options control dimensional tolerances. Let's change that from no to yes. By the way, in Creo Parametric 7.0, or actually I think it was 6.0, they added this other option here for tall display to be set to no uh, for anything that's driven by a tolerance table. All right, let's click the add change. Click the apply and close out of there. And now when I zoom in and zoom out real quick, you can see that the basic dimensions have a box around them. So that is all the setup that I need to do in order to make my datum targets video. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.